I photographed a portrait on a patio. Now, the restaurant had red coverings for shade. When the light was filtered through these red coverings, it added somewhat of a red color cast to the photograph. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Luminar AI to try to correct for that color cast. I'm in the Essentials Tools, and the first thing I'm gonna do is go down to the Color Tool. Inside of the Color Tool is the Remove Color Cast slider. I'll take this and move it to the right. Sometimes what I like to do when using this slider is push it all the way to the right just to see what the results are, and then I can take it back to find that sweet spot. When I think I have it in a good position, I'll toggle that tool off and on to see the result. And it looks like that did take away some of that color cast. Now this is a portrait image, so I'm also gonna go into the portrait tools. So I'll click portrait on the right. I'll start out with face AI. I'm gonna begin by taking the face light slider and moving it to the right. It doesn't need to go very far, but what that does is it helps add a bit of light to her face, almost like as if I had used a reflector in that photograph. Now I'm going to zoom in on her face so I can see some of my edits a little more clearly. Next, I'll go down to the eyes tools and I'll take away some of the shadow under her eyes with dark circles removal. So I'll move that to the right. And if I kind of wiggle that tool around, I can really see what it's doing. I'll also take the eye enhancer and move that to the right. This helps to sharpen and really highlight those eyes. And I'll add a touch of eye whitening. Next, I'll go down to the mouth tools. I'm going to add a little bit of all of these sliders. So I'll begin with lip saturation, go down to lips redness, lips darkening, and teeth whitening. Now I'll do a before and after toggle of this tool so we can see all of those results. And that's really helping to improve the look of her face. Now I'll go down to skin. I'll begin by clicking skin defects removal to see if it's able to remove some of the blemishes on her face. It looks like it found a few. So then I'll head up to the amount slider and move that to the right to help smooth some of the skin. The amount slider does a really good job of smoothing skin, but also keeping the natural details of the face. I think this is looking great. So I'm going to zoom back out and then I'll go back to the essentials tools to add a few finishing touches. I'll start with enhance AI. I'll take that accent slider and move it to the right. And wow, that does such a great job of really brightening the scene. I can even see the color cast removal even better after I made that change. And lastly, I'll finish with a vignette. I really like vignette because as we know, our eyes are drawn to the brighter areas of a photograph. So when we darken the edges, we are naturally drawn to the actual subject of the scene. I'll click vignette at the bottom. I'll move that amount slider to the left and I'll add a touch of inner light, which helps add some brightness to the center. Let's go ahead and preview what we've done. I'll press the backslash key to see my before and after. Now the color in my image looks much more natural.